Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Today, we're going to be continuing our TK Enter Python series by creating a simple interface that allows us to create files with a specified file name and content block. So here we can see we have a little block to name our file and we have a text box to actually write the contents. So let's do a little example here. Let's say we want to save some car information and in the text box we have let's just say a Ford Fusion and we're going to say that this Ford Fusion is blue and its year is going to be let's say 2015. So when we click save and we actually open up our directory we see that we have a new text file called car information and the contents of this file is going to be the exact same contents that we had in that interface. So this is a simple interface that we can create using tkinter and it only uses four widgets so let's dive into the code and see how this works. So we're going to start off with our bare bones skeleton for our tkinter program. The first thing you have to do is import the necessary classes from the tkinter module. In this project we're using entry, button, text label, TK, end, and raise. We're going to be explaining all those in detail later. And a first course is to define the root variable. The root variable allows us to create an instance of TK, and the root.mainloop function allows us to actually create a loop for our interface. And if we run it, you can see that the program begins to create a small interface. Now this project involves creating a title label, a title text entry, and we need a save button to actually save the contents. And below the save button we need to create a text entry so that we can actually write text for our file. So the first step is going to be to create the label widget. And the label widget uses two arguments. The first argument for any widget is always going to be root and the second argument for our label is going to be the text of the label. The geometry management we're going to be using is the pack method and when we say anchor we're just saying that we're going to pack this widget and pretty much cram it as far north as possible. We could say anchor, north, south, west, east and every combination of those and it's just going to push it as far to that side that you specify. To create the title entry, we're just going to use the entry widget. And this entry widget uses root as the first argument and width as the second. Width specifies the character width of the widget. So this one's going to be 25 characters long. And we're going to pack this with anchor northwest. The save button is going to be created using the button widget. The first argument, as always, is going to be root. The text keyword argument specifies the text that we want displayed on the button and the command keyword argument allows us to tie a function to the click of the button. So whenever we click it, it's going to run the save function. And when we run this at first, it's going to raise an error because we haven't defined save yet. And pack this with no anchor so that we can move on to the text box widget. Now I've put entry here in the title, but don't confuse this with the entry widget. This is a text box widget, which is a box of text, while the entry widget is a single line of text. We're going to say the width is 40 characters long and the height is 30 characters long. So we have a box of 40 by 30 characters. Border equals 4 means that the pixel border around the text box is going to be 4 pixels wide. And relief equals raised is the style of the border. We're going to pack this and run and we see that we have an error. And that's because we haven't defined the save button function. So let's just create an empty function. And when we run this, we see that we actually get an interface. And in the title block, we can type text. And the text box, we can also type text. So let's clear this up. And let's go in and actually create the save functionality. So to get this to run like how we want, we want to get the contents of the entry widget and the text box widget. And then we want to create and save a file as the title name from the title entry widget and the contents of that file 
from the text box entry widget. So we're going to use the entry widgets method called dot get. Now this method is going to get all the contents in that entry widget and save it as a string. And we're going to save it in a variable called file title. And for the text box, we're going to use a similar get method, but this method we actually have to specify the indices that we want to save the contents from. So when we say from 0.0, .0 to end, we're saying that we want to get all the contents starting at 0.0, .0 which is the row column index of text, all the way to the end. Now we're going to use a with open block and we're going to say that we're going to open a file with the file title plus .txt. This lets us create a text file with the file name and we're going to open it in the write mode. We're going to say with open as file, file.write, we're simply going to write the contents that we got from the text box widget to this file. If this actually ran, we're just going to add a print statement to say file successfully created if, it, uh, if the code actually ran. We're going to close that with a file.close and when we run this interface we can see that when we type let's say a chicken alfredo recipe and we're going to say that the ingredients are pasta, chicken, let's see, cream and butter and if we save this we get the print message that the file was created now let's open our directory and see that we have a file name called chickenalfredorecipe.txt and the ingredients are the same ingredients that we had from that interface. So here we can see that everything's working in order and if we add some junk text to this and save it again we see that the same junk text was copied over into the file. Let's do the same thing with the title, let's just add junk text and reopen our directory we'll see that we have another file which is similar but we have a little bit of extra text in there and everything's written correctly. I hope this video was helpful to everyone trying to get into TK Enter. Please feel free to leave any questions you have in the comments below and thank you so much for watching.